Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Trex and sorry for the background noise of course I have my air conditioner unit, a little small window unit here in the room trying to keep me cool in my office. So what this video is going to be is I've, this is the day after I just completed a stream with my Avermedia Live Gamer HD capture card on my streaming computer. I am now running the dual PC streaming setup and I am completely ecstatic that I'm actually able to do this and that it actually worked to some extent. Installation was actually a really big pain, wasn't a big pain in the butt, but trying to get everything where it was working was the issue. Mainly the video worked like a charm. Audio, pain in the butt. And of course, I went to the internet to try and find out as much as possible to try and fix this issue. And there were a couple of, there was a couple of YouTube videos or a couple of forum post on the X platforms about this and it really didn't help me with my problem. They their help got me to where I needed to be. So I'm wanting to share this video for anyone else who wants to get the Aver Media Live Gamer Car for the stream dual streaming setup and try to help you guys out as much as possible. So this is officially I am so sorry, so sorry for the mess on my table. Like I said, I finally completed it and it's I, I got cleanup to do, I got rearranging to do still. But over here is my actual gaming computer, my nice gaming computer, and then over here is my streaming PC. This is like my second PC I've ever built three years ago, and all the specs from both PCs are going to be down in the description below. So check out the description if you want to know more about what the setups are. So without further ado, let's actually go over, let's take a look at the back. Now disclaimer. If you are faint at heart, if you have a weak stomach, if you have previous medical conditions that may cause some issues, what you're about to see may be a little bit devastating. I warn you now, for the faint of heart, for the weak of stomach, get that plastic little bag right next to you because this may be a little bit hurtful for you. All right, so we are back here behind the computer. Look at all that horrible cable management. Yes, go ahead and throw up in your bag. I will completely understand. I have more cable management issues and fixes to do later on. I promise to get that, get to it as fast as I can. Uh, I it, trust me. This whole audio thing was just trying to get. I was just trying to get it up and running. Now that it's up and running. I can go around and fix everything. So this right here is the streaming compute, my streaming PC, uh, and right here in the back, this right here is my capture card. All right, let me get down here. This is uh, right here is going to be the capture card, and this right here is actually my little Radeon 5670 old video card. Yeah, that's right, Radeon 50, 5670, 5670. It is old, and I understand that. So, uh, right here is actually the my two monitors, my small monitor here, and then my TV slash monitor. I know I'm a horrible person. It's a TV, not an actual monitor. Screw me. So. Uh, those are connected into the video card, and I have my capture card here. It's connected via HDMI all the way over here to my good graphics card, to my six, to my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 Ti. Yes, it's connected right there. Or, I'm sorry. This is the connection right here, right here, okay? So it is connected through the HDMI. Now, when you are connecting through the HDMI cable, the HDMI cable is going to do video and the audio, okay? So you don't need the actual 3.5 audio cable that, that it came with, okay? So this is going to do your audio and your video. Thank you again, Cypher, for your help and for deducing. It was a big fix. And then this cable here is actually connected to my monitor here to the gaming PC. So my gaming PC only has one monitor and my streaming PC has two monitors mainly because the streaming PC is going to be doing exploit, it's going to be doing audition, it's going to be doing multiple things so my gaming PC can only do gaming. My whole processors are going to be do strictly gaming. Everything else is going to come over here to, uh, to my streaming PC. So like I said, the audio is going to be streamed from the HDMI cord. All right. So when we go into the program, I'm going to help you guys set up uh, your your sound on your windows, okay? Now this right here is my splitter. Now if you're asking yourself, because the sound is actually coming from the gaming PC to the streaming PC, I actually have no sound coming from my gaming computer. 
The reason I have no sound is because all of it's being fed here. So I used the splitter I got from Radio Shack. It's actually a three-way splitter because, well, I, I, I just, why not, right? I just didn't care either. So this is actually connected right here. This is to my good speakers, to my little Logitech, five, to my Logitech surround sound kind of thing. It has a subwoofer, see, subwoofer, right there. It's my subwoofer into uh, two satellite uh, speakers. So here I have speakers that feed all the audio. And then this right here is actually an extension cable that I grabbed as well. And the extension, ca and the extension cable is connected here to my headphones, to my microphone slash headphones. So the headphones is ported here through this cable and then the microphone is fed here into the back of the cord. Now, I have my sound card down here, but I'm having some issues with her and she's not able to use the microphone function like I want. So I'm having to use the onboard sound, which is still not bad. This is just so people who I'm talking to in game, use an in game voice such as curse voice or even DCUO's in, in game voice chat, so people can hear me. And I'm gonna hear them all the way over here through my streaming PC through my headphones. Thank you, splitter. Thank you for the splitter and the extension cable. So those are the only two things I had to go buy outside of what was given to me. I had to buy a splitter and I had to buy the extension cable. Now this is only for my purposes because, like I said, my headphones are all the way over there connected to my gaming computer and I need to be able to hear everything so I'm going to hear everything through the streaming computer. Now I also have my good microphone here. My USB uh, audio technique microphone connected to the streaming computer because I'm going to allow XSplit to use my good microphone to pick it up so I can still do nice audio recording. It's it's going to be a little funky. I'm still uh, like I said, there's still more testing I, ha I have to do to make sure it's like, hey, it's probably going to be me moving my good microphone back over to my gaming computer, but I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it just yet. But all right, so that's the hardware side, okay? So your capture card, really only, my capture card for myself only has the video in, all right? So I only have the video coming from my gaming computer coming here into my capture card via the HDMI. And this HDMI cable is going to do the audio and the video. That's it. Everything else is really all in the operating system. So let's switch over to the operating system and let's see what we can do to get you fixed and set up for sound. All right, guys, uh, once again, sorry about the background noise from the air conditioning unit. Uh, trust me, I'm not happy about it, and neither should you, but try and bear with me, please. So the this screen that we're looking at right here is my from my gaming PC, all right? So we're gonna set up a sound on the gaming PC. And so it, try and ignore everything that you see wrong with my desktop. I understand, I understand. So this right here, we are in the playback tab on your sound options and so you have my speakers which is coming from my uh, yeah so uh, here's the speakers of course they're set to the default communicative device but we're going to scroll down here and find your Avermedia HD4 now like I said the HDMI cable is going to hold the video and the audio so this is where the audio is coming in on your gaming PC okay, the PC you're playing all your games on it's that's what it's named for. So you're gonna set that for your default device, okay? Next, you're gonna go into the properties and you're going to go, really just, I'm just double checking everything. You could set your, how high you wanna hear everything as well. Uh, so I'm also going to come over here to the advanced tab. Your advanced tab here, your default format. This, you're gonna to need to remember this, okay? Right now I have it to 16 bit, 48,000 Hertz DVD quality, okay? This information, this format needs to match the format on your streaming PC, okay? This, uh, your speakers, your speaker setting, the format is going to, on your advanced tab is going to need to match this with whatever on your streaming PC. Now, again, if you change your format on one, you need to change the format on the other. Right now I have it 16 bit, 48,000 hertz, DVD quality. All right, so I'm keeping it like that. You hit okay. Then you come over to your recording. So 
you still have your what you hear or your it's what you hear slash stereo mix. It's, it's going to be different tile for everybody else, but it's basically this is what you hear when you're playing sound from your computer. That's where it's going to be able to be picked up. It's what you hear. It's stereo mix. You also have your microphone. My microphone, you see, it's actually moving up and down. It's actually for my headset microphone and that you can't hear, but that's it's being picked up right there. So your microphone is going to be your default for your recording. So let's go to your what you hear. So we're going to go to the properties for your what you hear or stereo mix, whatever it's called. You're going to go to listen. You're going to click on listen device. And you're going to play back. The playback through this device is going to be your Aver Media. So this is going to help where anything. The, so say I have music playing on this computer right now. I, if there's music playing right now, the Aver Media would. Uh, Okay, sorry. The Aver Media would be the pickup. Okay, it's going to be picking up through the Aver Media. That's where it's going to go. But then, for recording purposes, in order to record it for the streaming PC, it's going to know you're going to need to go over here to the what you hear. So it's going to be a playback. So in order for it to actually go over, uh, your microphone. I don't think I really messed with anything here. Yeah, I didn't mess with anything in my advanced. So I, I didn't really. I for my microphone purposes, trying to get my recording. Uh, or even just to get the voice quality, I had to mess with it a little bit. But until I can get rid of this large air conditioning unit in this office, then uh, it, I can't get it to where I like. But that's basically it. All right. So you're going to set your Aver Media is going to be your default device. Whatever speaker you use for like your headphones or on your gaming. I mean, again, your gaming computer doesn't even really have headphones attached to it. I just set my speakers for my default communications device because why not? And then for your recording, your microphone can be your default, or you can even uh, set your what you hear to your default. But right now, for this purposes, that works for me. I would set your microphone for your default, what you hear as your default communication device, and then set your listen to device in your listen tab, listen to this device, and set it to your playback, which is from your Aver Media down here. All right, so let's switch over to the streaming PC and set the sound options over there. Okay, so now we're on the streaming PC. I have no background because I haven't really touched on anything about this yet. I'm still installing programs as a matter of fact as well. So we're going to open up our playback devices. So this is your sound options here. My speakers are my default and you're going to go into properties and just really check everything out. You can set it to 100 because my speakers actually have a little controller that I use to control it and then like I said your default format is going to need to match what's ever on your gaming PC your gaming PC and your streaming PC need to have the correct format that match they cannot be different if they are different you're gonna get like this helicopter sound this do -do 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 and you'll probably get some crackling and some hissing when you're trying to open up a game when you listen to some music that's where that's coming from because the formats are different so you need to match them so I chose the 16-bit 48,000. I could have chosen the 44,100 for CD quality, but I, I I didn't care. I just went. I really went with this. And then my recording is, of course, my microphone, my good microphone, my AT2020. You don't really need to do anything with this one either. It's basically set to where it needs to be. So uh, then, and now that's it. And now we just bring up the actual Aver Media Rec Central. Rec Central, however you really want to call it. And when you open it up, it has some pretty nice graphics. A nice little opener. I really do like it. So here's your Aver Media. So, all right, so here it is. You have your amateur, you got your pro, you got your newbie. It does everything really for you. I normally I, I go into pro just to see what the settings look like, and let's actually take a look real fast. This is what the Pro looks like. Your game platform is going to be other PC. Okay? Not current PC. Your current PC means you're capturing from your streaming PC. Your game console means you have your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3, whatever console is connected. But for dual, P for dual PCs, you're going to choose other PC. Your video source, HDMI. Your capture, your capture device for your audio source, HDMI. Choose whatever microphone you got. Only got one, so that's it. Uh, 
another uh, a feature that they have here is you can and for MP4, you can save a separate MP3 file, meaning that you'll have the MP, you'll have the video and the audio in two separate files. I kind of don't want to do that because I can just that's just too much work for me. Too much work. Uh, then your video format is going to either be an MP4 or TS. I don't know what the hell TS is, but it still works. Uh, it's like an MPEG-2 format. If I looked at my, if I looked at the actual quality right, but uh, you can choose MP4 or TS, whichever one works. Uh, you choose your resolution, your video bit rate, however you want it, your audio bit rate, your frames. Uh, the capture card can only do either seven. Uh, 1280 by 720 or 720p resolution, 720 60 second frame rate, or 1080p 30 second. That's kind of the max that it can go. All right, and then you just hit ready, and then your Rec Central will pop up here. It's supposed to be popping up. Isn't that cute? It's actually not popping up because it's actually probably being used. Yep, it crashed because I'm actually using it over here. In XSplit, because XSplit's using it, so it probably crashed. But that's basically what you have to do. So while well, it's actually going to sit there and crash for me, because I'm using it on two separate entities. Uh, now, when you're on your streaming PC and you pull up a game on your gaming PC and you can't get any sound from your streaming PC, it's because you do not have Aver Media running. Aver Media has to be running either in XSplit, which I have here. There it is, in all of its glory. You can take a look at the infinite of the screen region. So you have your Aver Media down here, and you can go to right click on it and configure. And you can choose your input, which I really never actually play around with this that much because they really didn't care for it. I mean, my input's fine. Your output, you can change to your output size, which apparently I did not want it to be 1680 by 1050, because that's the screen reason, that's the screen size of my gaming monitor, which I know, it's weird. It's horrible, actually. Uh, and then you can also configure for your crossbar. Uh, this is, I don't mess with this because I don't know how to mess with this, and I don't want to mess with it. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Just leave it alone. But it shows up uh, whenever you want to add it to your exploit, you're just going to add camera, and it's right there, just right there. The LG, uh, the Live Gamer HD Stream Engine, I haven't really played around with yet, but uh, that's it. That's how you're going to set up your HD, uh, your Live Gamer, or at least how I set it up. And like I said, I use a splitter on connected to my streaming PC, so I can listen to stuff, so I can listen to everything. That's how I listen to things. But if you guys have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments, and I will try my best to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Uh, I will also, again, I will link all of my my PC specs in the description below, and I'll also link some uh, some forum posts I found on the Xplit forums to help you try to hopefully help you guide yourself to using the H, uh, the Live Gamer HD. Uh, I've only used it for one stream. I've, I'm only planning on using it for live streaming. Uh, if I have to do any recording, I, once I get to the recording aspect uh, outside of streaming, then I will play around with it more. But so far, after the first stream, it was really, it was really nice to use and it was very welcoming. And I can't, and I, I think it's going to be, a, I think it's a great investment, a great investment. So. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. And again, I'm sorry about all the bad sound that you hear because I have this horrible air conditioning unit. Because it gets hot in here. I have two PCs running now. It's going to get super hot. All right, guys. Y'all take care. I'll see you guys next time.